What is up, everybody? Sveinson here back with another MLB 9 Innings video. You know, this week uh, we got some pack openings and skill change tickets. We actually got some from last week because I filmed the footage, just didn't have time to edit together a video. Um, and then I have the footage from this week. So, uh, with all that being said, you know, let's uh, just let's just dive right in. So let's get this day started out with packs. All right, we got silvers, we got premiums. Let's just get it rolling. See what we get. Ooh, starting out with a prime out of the silvers. Look at that, John Garland. It's nice. We take that. We start with those. Um, another one to the collection. Another one I don't have, so we're happy with that. Jorge Soler. I haven't actually seen that 21 card. Uh, that's pretty solid batting stats, honestly. Put him in DH and he should do pretty well. Uh, let's do premium player packs next. No diamonds. Did get a gold though. We're going to throw the special training into Juan Nicasio until we get a skill set on Al Hrabowski just because we don't want to. Uh, you know, train them all the way up to 10 out of 10 just for them to get pitcher scan, you know? Let's see what we get from this diamond. Barnes, 19. That is not a great card, but luckily, special training material. Looks like we got four of these, four of the next uh, batter packs. And we'll go jump into special training. All right, nothing special there. Okay, I'm gonna cut special training and I will be right back. Let's keep going through these packs. We're gonna skip the vintage packs. We're just gonna open them all up during double mileage weekend, do a ton of combos um, and try to land a legend, so. Ooh, a Klein. I can use that for upgrade material for the Klein that I have sitting in my backups. Um, I think I'm going to start skill changing Jordan Hicks next. Is my plan. I'm Yeah. I think I think that getting a fixer set on him like fixer dom, fixer touch, it's going to kind of be hard with fin fixer. Um, but just a fixer set on on him or a great setup set, you know, I can move people around. Just a good set would be excellent for Jordan Hicks. Um, that way I can move toward completing my bullpen. Oh, look, we got at least a diamond out of here. We take that. That's nice. All right. Yeah, that's good special training material. And then a diamond pack. Chasen Shreve, a team RP. He is not great. So, fun fact, the reason he has a Cardinals card is because we sent him to the Yankees and got, or or he was sent to us by the Yankees in exchange for Luke Voigt. Now, that trade would look real awful because he was not great for us, except we also got Giovanni Gallegos back, who is one of our best relievers now. So, um, we don't mind that trade too much. Let's jump over to this week's packs. Uh, we've done quite a bit of farming, so uh, we've got a good amount of silver player packs, premium player packs, the whole deal. Uh, so let's work through them. Um, you know, obviously we're looking for vintages and for primes from these. Vintages can be used as combo material. Primes are just cool to have. Um, in case you're wondering, you know, maybe you're new to the channel and you're wondering why I hunt primes, right? Obviously, getting some Cardinals primes would be excellent, right? Um, but I don't really need them. There aren't any Cardinals primes that are going to make my lineup much better. I have the Pujols prime sitting around for a GI if I ever don't pull a SIG, you know, by the time he retires next year. 
Also, a premium diamond, we take those. Uh, Juan Nicasio. Ooh, yeah, this guy, I had to use upgrade tickets to get mine upgraded. Um, and then an MV Free over here, which is a pretty cool card. Uh, although this one's a little bit lower in the overall. So, but yeah, if you're wondering why I hunt primes, it's just because they're cool to have. You know, it's hype to get them. Um, even though a lot of them can't really make my team better. Speaking of which, uh, you know, the event where you could get a Prime has been going on. And guess who just completely forgot to get their Prime? Like, I went and I got three Vintages. You know, I was not thinking I got a Alfred Bosky for the upgrade material. Got a Bake McBride because I was trying to get a Ray Langford. And then I did get a Ray, a Ray Langford. So um, I was going to go Steve Klein, but I guess I'm not going to any of them. Um, again, the Klein isn't that much of an improvement for my bullpen. Uh, it's not that huge of an upgrade. Maybe pitcher's chem material one day. I probably want to ever GI it at least, you know, not before next year when we have another chance. But it's still a bummer to miss out on. So I'm going to go special train some uh, people real quick, and I will cut right back. And we are back uh just short of enough material on geo gallegos to take him up a level let me tell you guys with how uh things have been going recently you know progress has been a little bit hard to make you know i can only really upgrade my team if i get a significantly better skill set or a sig so if they were to drop a sig pack right now i would be slamming that i would i would love to get one of those um right about now another batter you know i guess it's because the last couple i've had you know the team select have all been yachty right that doesn't help me upgrade my team if i'm only getting the same guy speaking of which there he is right there um so i i would love to get one of those in my pocket right now with spring training coming up though they should be dropping or i guess spring training should have already started with this dang lockout is uh, holding everybody back. But once they get it resolved, and I, you know what? I know a lot of people are pessimistic. I'm optimistic they'll get it resolved. We'll have baseball this year. Then we should end up getting those SIG packs, which will be hype. I'll be awesome. Um, hopefully, we can land our Albert Pujols, but, you know, we'd take Ray Langford. We'd take... Um, I don't know, there are tons of cards we'd take. Steven Piscotti. I heard Dexter Fowler was re-added to the game. Let's see, out of these... Oh, three out of six on the Ultimate Pack? We're having a good night tonight. Maybe I need to start filming my videos on Monday instead of a... Uh, instead of on Sunday. Maybe Sunday's my bad luck day. Who knows? Typically, I film them Sunday, upload them Monday, but with how busy I've been, I'm filming this Monday night, and I'm just going to set it to premiere. Casey Mize, Zhu Wei Lin. Um, I've seen his card around for a while. I've never heard of the player, though. Casey Mize is supposed to be good, though. I guess he had a solid year this year. I mean, 3.71 ERA, 100, what was that, 118 strikeouts. I mean, that's looking pretty good to me. Um... So next up, I'm going to cut to the skill change tickets I did last week, so you can see how that went. Um, and then I am going to do the premium skill change tickets for this week. So for skill change tickets, uh, I think I want to do Dick Hughes instead of Jordan Hicks. Um, Dom Boss is fine. There's no real third skill with this set. And he's finesse loaded, so I kind of have to sacrifice a bit of Vel or a bit of location in order to get fastball higher. Um, leads to him walking a lot of batters and giving up a lot of runs. Uh, especially against higher overall teams, I can't really rely on him. So I'm going to change his skill set uh, or change his skill storage, and we are going to skill change uh, Dick Hughes. You know, see what we can't land on him. Um, you know, just marching toward the complete uh, starting rotation that is my goal you know then if I get a good finesse set on him I can retrain for it let's see where did he go there he is 
So we got 11 of these to try to land something great. Starting with touch and nothing else. Nothing there. Nothing there. Still nothing. Man, we haven't seen a gold skill in forever. I.E. Dom Fixer is... Would have been great on a middle relief. <laughs> Mess and Golden Pitcher. All right, we're down to seven of these. Uh, so, four more to go. Touch again. Boss. I mean, starting with high-level boss is, is always good, but... High levels of boss. Dom Pitcher. And last one. No luck. All right, let's get this premium skill change ticket used. Obviously, it's going on Al Hraboski. See what we get. No legend skill. Dom Pitching Machine is actually kind of usable. So we're going to keep that. It's not perfect. Um, but it's kind of usable, so maybe we can toss him into the lineup somewhere. Uh, but we're going to keep skill change ticketing him, so. All right, let's do these premium skill change tickets. Al Hraboski as usual. See if we can't land a setup set on him. That would be awesome. Or always pitcher's chemistry. He would definitely work for pitcher's chemistry. What's a set now? Dom PM is okay but it is not nearly what we're looking for. He would be a good dominant pitcher, though, because he throws two fastballs, and somehow he still has a high enough break to, you know, be relevant. Yeah, that training, by the way, is from a redistribution ticket. Don't, don't think I did that intentionally. So let's see what we get here. IE mess. Not quite it. We got three of these. We got two from... Fixer. Uh, if that had been another gold skill like finesse, I would have kept it. We got two from league mode, and we got one from crafting. So let's hope we get something, maybe a legend here. No? Ace, season pitcher, lightning pitch. Nothing doing there. So unfortunately, nothing for our Hraboski tonight. And you know what? We have these three skill change tickets. Uh, we'll save... We'll do some more, you know, next week. The rest of them I get this week. But we'll toss these into somebody. I'm thinking... Okay, so here's my line of thinking. Gritchick has a good but not great set, right? Batting Machine, Charisma, he could do better. Um, but Piscotti is a similar level of batter when you look at them. I think I'm going to use them on Piscotti. Even though you can see his power is four lower, but his eye is... Uh, six higher, right? So he has technically more batting stats. That way, I can have one on my bench. I can have one in my lineup, and I can use the one on my bench to pinch it late in the innings, right? So Gritch, you know, gets pulled. Piscotti, if he has a decent skill set, can come in and hit. Or if Piscotti has the better skill set, Gritch can come in and hit with those extra stats. Maybe help me have a late inning rally. Um, so I'd like to get both of them to a point where I can use them. Uh, Piscotti, his training isn't very good, but that's because he doesn't have skills. So, Spotlight, Flashing the le Leather, Endurance. Honestly, if he had Spotlight, it ain't over yet. He would be a great bench uh, slugger. So, let's just see what we get on him. Um, I hope that logic tracks with you guys. That's kind of like in my head, you know. Plus, when I play Clutch Hits mode, it's always nice to have, like, a real batter. Let's see... We get a specialist, it ain't over yet. Exhaustion, no thank you. Table setter, reliable, you. It ain't over yet, five tool player, flashing the leather. Uh, we'll stick around that for now. We'll get those. We'll keep changing him in the future. Um, you know, and if he lands something good, we'll, we'll give him a train. Uh, yeah, so future plans for this channel. Let's... Uh, my next black diamond is going to be Yachty. He's just with that 98 speed there. He's just inconveniently short of barrel it up when he gets hit by boss with pitcher's chem. 
So, or with batter's chem. You know, if he doesn't have batter's chem, he hits it pretty easily. So, if we make him black diamond and he gets plus five speed, plus five con, and extra special training on con, then I think that this will work. I still think I'm going to retrain him in the future, switch con to number one, pow to be even higher, you know, maybe something like 15, 20, 12, right? 15 con, 20, pow, 12i or something like that. But, uh, you know, that's just, we'll just have to see how that works out. Um, I made I when I, before I GI'd him. Um, and then I rolled good skills on him. So that's why you always wait till you roll skills before you GI, you know? Pretty happy with Slugger Instinct barreled up. And yeah, so that'll do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Again, sorry that I didn't put out a video last week, but hopefully this makes up for it. So, um, you know, if you're been hanging around the channel for a while and haven't hit that subscribe button yet, uh, take this as your sign. We love subscriptions. We'd love to have you here. It helps me out. Um, and if you leave a comment, I will always try to get back to it. If I miss it, sorry, but um, I like to think I'm pretty good about doing that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you all next Monday.